has some fun stuff here to work with. This is Nicholas's third bike. Four wheeler, Noah's hot shot dirt bike over here. Got some gas. And this is the bad boy. This is the flyer. Noah's 150R. Part of BMX bikes too. Mama's four wheeler with the shock absorbers. Mama likes a smooth ride, don't you? I like my Cadillac. No pup left behind. The pups can ride on it. That's right. Pup mobiles. Yeah? That's DJ, y'all. There's Leo. They're ready for Georgia Off-Road Adventures. <laughs> All right. All right, we're heading there. We're ready. Oh, Nicholas Dorgan. What you riding here, boy? What you got? Honda 125. You haven't been in Durham Town in so long. I'm sorry, Georgia Off-Road Adventures. So where did you insist upon stopping here today? The Truett's Chick-fil-A. Truett's Chick-fil-A. And what's your favorite part about this restaurant in Noonan, Georgia? How fancy it is. It's fancy, isn't it? We're going to go in and I check it out. I bet if somebody drove by here, it would be, they would think it's like some sort of white tablecloth restaurant. I mean, it's white tablecloth but quality Chick-fil-A. Chick I know. Let's go through the dwarf drawer, door. Let's do it. Going through the little door? We gotta go through the door, right? Shorty has to go through the short door. The short door. <laughs> here we go. Well, we're here at Truett's. We have to stop at Noonan George every time we come through, don't we, Nicholas? Is this your favorite Chick-fil-A in the entire world? Sit down next to him and put your arm around him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Nicholas door. The short door for short. Hey, what about me? Am I allowed to go through the short door? Can I come through too? And potato cloth, fried okra, Greek yogurt, perfect, a fruit cup, and fried pickles. And oh. six chicken nuggets. <laughs> all for supper? All that? You can't eat all that. So y'all, we're gonna actually sit down and relax for a minute, and get off the highway. This place is cool. It's got this train that goes around, on, but it's not on right now. And we actually get waited on by a Chick-fil-A server or somebody. Sit down, formal, old school style service. Kind of neat, huh? Nicholas has found some sweet potatoes. He's found a couple of things lady. he's interested in. <laughs> Just a few. A few things. Okay, so they have this button that you come push. It's down the perfect size. And what does that button do? What does it do? Is he going to push it? Pushed it. There it goes. And the train is going around. I hear it. He got it going. He got it going. I hear it. You got that train going, didn't you? Ah, right, here it comes. It's pulling Coca-Cola's on the train. That is too cool. It's a wagon full of Coca-Cola's. All right, y'all, we just arrived at the daytown. Oh, no. Oh, the dogs know we're here. All right, y'all, this is the lodge right here where you check in and get your late night key. We arrived after hours. There's the ATVs you can rent and the dirt bikes you can rent. And, uh, oh, Nicholas is already off on his one wheel. Guess he brought the one wheel. Dogs want out, don't they? All right, who's getting the key out of the box? This one now. All right. This trailer is loaded now. We are ready. Ready to ride. What do you see over there? Luke! What is this grave digger over here? Oh, there's a one-seater 170. Yeah, a 170 one-seater. That sounds pretty cool. Let's go get our key. That's nice. All right, we're gonna go on in here and get our key. We missed registration. It, uh, I think you gotta get here by five or six for registration. But this is where the lodge is where you get your wristbands to ride and this is our customer drop box for the late night arrivals. We are definitely the late night arrivals. What you got, did you find it? This is Nicholas Dorgan, 11 years old, Fairhope, Alabama. And he is looking for our key in the customer drop box for our stay this weekend, Labor Day. 
at Georgia Off-Road Adventure Park. What we got? Is this it? Where are we staying? Looks like C6. All right, we're ready. He's on the one wheel. He's gonna deliver the key. All right, y'all, we've arrived. Late, better late than never. All right, y'all, we just arrived. Woohoo! We made it! We made it, C6. All right, so we have our key from the mailbox. The dogs just went for a quick spin. What do y'all think? We just made it to the cabin. This is DJ, and there's Leo. Leo, don't you run off on us, Leo. Leo likes to run. It's a quick tour of the cabin. This is the C6. Nice bed, TV, microwave, lots of towels, sink, giant refrigerator. We're gonna stock this thing up with some drinks. Bathroom, some bunk beds, and uh, so we just got here. And then there's bunks on the other side, and uh, the air conditions all nice and cold. So really cool cabin to stay in, easy and simple. And uh, one of our favorite parts about the sea cabins is they have a full shower with the hot, the automatic hot water on. So in Durham Town, or I should say Georgia Off Road. This is a nice bathroom, comparatively speaking. It's big with a walk-in shower, and that's just clutch. So the kids are already off on their wind wheels. It is late in their arrival, so hopefully they're not waking anybody up. But we're here at Durham Town. We just made it, and the kids will be up at the crack of dawn unloading the trailer. So we're just going to bring in some of the basics tonight, get settled, because tomorrow morning is gonna come early tomorrow morning it's gonna be game on game on at the crack of dawn <laughs> we gotta get the bed all right the boys are back they're already out on their one wheels where'd y'all go how's the ride good we went all the way to the turbo track all the way to the turbo track <laughs> y'all see anybody out yet or are we the first ones to arrive for the weekend first people Cool. Whoa, Noah. Ah, right, Noah, you're pretty good on that one wheel. All right, y'all, we are here and um, can't wait to ride in the morning. All right, good morning, everybody. Nicholas is first awake this morning. This is Nicholas Dorgan. How are you doing, boy? Good. What you got on there? You got a cool skeleton shirt. Those are some nice dirt bike pants. Are these Noah's old dirt bike boots? Yeah. So those are little hand-me-downs. And what you riding today, boy? What you got? Oh, 125. Honda 125, huh? High five, man. So, so what time we got? Is it? Is it? Are we? Do we have permission now to go out and ride? Yeah, it's like 8:45. Okay, good. 8:45. And what's your first track you're gonna do today before it starts raining? Cause it's looking a little cloudy out here today, y'all. So we're gonna to try to get something in before it rains. Which track? Probably the loop. The loop? Maybe uh straight rhythm? And maybe the peewee? Yeah. Alright, cool. You got your GoPro mounted, huh? You wanna get a little footage today? Alright, we'll get a little footage. Well, I'm glad you're first up. What happened to Noah this morning? He's still sleeping. He's still sleeping. Oh, he's missing out. He's probably gonna sleep all day. Ah, I hear you, man. Okay, we're excited. This is our first day here at Durham Town, isn't it? man how'd it go where, good. You, you you snuck off without us man where you been just like all the tracks all the tracks yeah, give the recap tell us uh first i went to mx2 then mx1 then straight rhythm and that's it nice no problems no wrecks no you didn't even get muddy i don't see a lick of dirt on here you must have been riding very safely mm -hmm. good job dude we want you being safe today this week can you bring me a gatorade please yeah we sure can nice outfit dude you got some new boots on those are styling. Tell well, me what you're riding here. A CRF 150R. Nice, man. And what's special about the 150R? Anything? Um, it's big wheel? Yeah, big wheel. Big wheel. And look, you got a brand new got tire on here. Front. Yep, and upgraded front suspension. That's all right. And uh, number 22, there's your name. What about these graphics? Uh, Miami Knights. Miami Knights, huh? 
cool. Why number 22? What's special about that? Just a number you've had a long time? Yeah. Cool, man. What track did you do? MX2. Hey, Lauren. Hey. Good morning. Morning. What you working on here? I'm working on a little bed for a puppy so he can go with us to the shop. Oh, the pup mobile. He likes to ride right here. Okay, this is for a shop ride. He wants to go. The, the, the what mobile? The doge mobile, like the dog, but it's a doge. And where are you? Do you think you're going this morning? To shop. To the shop. What? Nicholas and Lauren love the shop. Oh no! Nicholas is broken in the fire pit. Oh, DJ, you ready? All right, y'all. We're down. Over so your don't get rid of the First day at Durham Town, or I should say, George Off Road Adventures. Right. Into the pro shop. We're in the pro shop. Let's see who's here. They still have Durham Town shirts. Oh yeah, I still got Durham Town shirts. Ooh, Nicholas. I know you like that, don't you? Some nice stuff in here. Alright, Georgia Off-Road Adventures, right? Formerly known as Durham Town, right? Yes. <laughs> Y'all have any of the new shirts with that name on it yet or still working on it? I hear you. These old shirts, though, might become collector's items, huh? Maybe. Well, your shop looks great. Well stocked and everything you need, right? I'm sure they're going to give you some business here. Nice helmet sale. Good prices up there. Okay, y'all, we are at Georgia Off Road Adventures in uh, Union Point, Georgia. And Nicholas is now on the Pee Wee track. This is a 13 and under track. And this is where Noah uh, originally learned how to dirt bike and also motocross race. And this is where they hold the, uh, the junior motocross races. So Nicholas is going around that track. It's designed for, uh, you know, smaller horsepower engines, maybe, uh, I don't know, 125 or so horsepower or less um, on the two-stroke, you know, maybe 100 or less or so. And so Nicholas, who is 11 years old, uh, qualifies to ride out here on his 125 Honda. Coming around some jumps here, and uh, this is the first straightaway and first major turn after you come out of the gate, which is uh, at the top of the track. This is Nicholas's biggest jump coming in right here. He's coming in fast and he clears it. Very good. Then there's another hairpin turn over by the road and uh, there's another pretty good sized jump and then a long loop where you get some good speed all the way around, which comes around in front of the grandstand. And the grandstand is where the uh, finish line is. So he's, he's coming up right here. He's going through the finish line. And then to the left is the grandstand where all the parents are waving and cheering. And then you start this fresh lap with some pretty pretty steep little uh, jumps right here in the middle. Whoa, and he cleared that second jump. Did good. Tough hairpin turns. You really got to slow down on those hairpin turns. There's not a lot of bank on them. And so uh, as you're coming around to this next turn especially, uh, you got to hump right here. And then you got to like... Err! And then somehow recover and go into your next jump. And then you go pretty fast along this straightaway. Uh, there's just really small jumps. And uh, he's just popping through them here. And then he's coming around to where the gate is up at the top there. The gate is right on his left there. And that's where you start your Pee Wee race. And then go past the little water tower right there. And then you come down this pretty fast straightaway. This is where uh, you get a couple bumps, one good jump. And then it comes into this... Uh, your first pretty substantial turn after the start out of the gate. So this is Nicholas Dorgan. This is his first day out here. Hadn't been out here practicing in a while. So he's, he's taking it easy. Got a big jump here. He's going to try to clear it. And yeah, he's landing right on the top of that second, you know, right on the top of that um, jump where he lands there. So beautiful day. It hasn't started raining yet. So we're going to seize the moment and get out here on Pee Wee and get some practicing in. And as he comes around, you will see yours truly here waving and i think he's turning my camera off okay y'all we're out here it used to be the oval track it used to be a big circle and they converted it into a beginner track for kids right 
And why don't you show them the new track they just built? It used to be the old oval track. Now they got a bunch of in-between turns, and it's basically for uh, smaller beginner riders. But Nicholas is going to show us. He's going to show us this new track. This is new at Georgia Off-Road Adventures, isn't it? Boom. Boom. All right, give us a roll. All right, Nicholas is, uh, again, you used to go straight right here, and you could go around this track at like, like 30 or 40 miles an hour. It's just an oval track right here by the red barn that you see straight ahead. That's a maintenance shop for the side-by-sides. But they've made this nice, curvy, um, easy going track with a, not a lot of bumps and a lot, a lot of holes and uh, it, it's good for the kids you know and so this is a perfect area for beginners new new riders that are just learning um, how to ride a dirt bike they, they've eliminated the, the, the really fast oval track no more side by sides out here and it is exclusively for kiddos on dirt bikes learning how to ride I think it's a great addition Georgia Off-Road Adventures. I think this is exciting. Kids are the new generation of motocross and motorcycle riding. you got to keep doing it. He's just flying down that road. Look at him go. Oh, and a big skid. Nice. Nice job. Good job, man. Okay, y'all. We're about the Armadillo track. This is right next door to the new oval track we just rode that Nicholas just showed us. The Armadillo track is designed for beginners, and so this is a small track right next to the oval track by the Red Barn. It is right across the street from the lodge and next door to the Pee Wee track, or across the street from the Pee Wee track. So this area alone has multiple tracks for kids. The Pee Wee track for 13 and under, and then they've made the oval track into this beginner's kids course with lots of easy trails and, and small turns. And then the Armadillo track is also where Noah and Nicholas learned how to ride their 50 Honda 50 dirt bike. Or, you know, they just, oh, this is where they learned how to, to do banks and berms and so forth. This is the wood course Pretty sandy entrance. in that berm, but and Nicholas it's handled it well. Like what do you think, man? Good track. ride? You can go through the right. woods course a little quick and head out to the turbo easy, track. Too easy Wong. for you. The right, woods course you, entrance you is right by the straight the rhythm track, good sport. which is by the big red barn across from the maintenance area of all the red barns. And um, so it's next to the bomber track and the straight rhythm, which we start on first thing this morning. And Nicholas really wanted to do a trail. So this is a nice trail through the woods, not that long. And it, it splits in two in a couple places. And like we can ride side by side. So we're going to follow Nicholas through the woods course. Give us a tour. Nicholas, will you do that for us? Yeah. All right, this is Nicholas Dorgan. He is 11 years old on his Honda 125F. He's going to give us a tour of the woods. I'm on the 250R, so if it gets a little noisy, just bear with me here. I'm gonna keep it in a high gear where we uh you know maybe you can hear me okay. This is the first time we've taken the back off the GoPro to see if we could uh which course three is straight ahead. I'm not real familiar with that. Oh, here we go. Following him around. I guess we're going to which course. Sometimes he 
don't freak out, hold on. Pick you a berm to ride on. You can skip over, go on the high berm. Oh, a couple of riders in front of us going slow. So we'll have to be real thoughtful here, real courteous. Maybe they'll let us by, maybe not. And uh, so we're going to take it easy getting by these folks. They look like they're pretty advanced riders.
this course three is right next to the woods course two that we just did. This has no side by side, so it's probably a narrower track. And uh, so we're going to go down there. Nicholas going to lead the way. I haven't been on this track in a long time, so don't ditch me, okay? You've never been on it. Okay, well, this is new for both of us. Let's go check it out. This will be an adventure. I'll follow you. This is Woods Course number three. No side by sides. Nicholas Jorgen, 11 years old, on the 125, going down a track at Georgia Off Road Adventures. He's never done this track before. This is brand new. A little bit narrower of a track, probably designed for just motorbikes instead of, you know, uh, side by side. This is a fun little track. It's got some quick little berms, trees right by the side of the trail. It's not too muddy or anything. Nice. This is pretty cool. Oh, check out the berm. Oh, Nicholas nails the berm. Don't hit the tree on the berm. And I gotta figure out which gear I'm in. So, uh, yeah, man, this is new. You know, it's always interesting to ride a new trail. There's so many trails here. What we got? I don't know how many acres. 5,000 acres or something. I don't know, 100, 100 miles of trail or 200 miles, several hundred miles of trail. I think in the three, four days that we're going to stay here, we probably... Oh! Whoa! Got a little air! Oh, that was so epic! A little air jump right in the middle of the trail. That was fun, man. It's got the power. You know, I'm like a kind of a beginner and I'm on a 250R and yes, this thing has more power than I could ever handle. But in moments like this, when I want to just it, you know, I can just goose and catch up. So much fun. Whoa, don't hit the tree, James. Oh my God. And so Nicholas has got this trail mastered. He's got it mastered. Oh, and I did a wheelie off the jump. What'd you see? Might have been a deer. Whoa, we like seeing deer. Every now and then we'll catch one on the trail. Whoa, whoa, I did a little whoop right there. It was tiny, I'll admit it. But hey, at least I tried. All right, man, going around. Whoa, got a nice rut through here, some rock. He was just flying down. Woods course number three. All right, we got a feel for it. I'm gonna wrap the video up right here on this particular course because we got so many more to go and uh, tracks to do. There's like 12 motocross tracks. We've done, I think, one or two motocross tracks so far. This is only our second trail. There are dozens of trails. So uh, we're gonna wrap up this shot right here and see what's next after that. Okay, y'all, we're here at MX1. Look at Noah. He is on the 150R. This is the MX1 track. This is the first first run along the side of the woods, closer to the MX2 track. This is uh, MX1 is one of the first tracks that uh, was built here many years ago when Durantown first started out. And so this is their first motocross track. As you can see from the tracks, the Bobcat had just recently groomed this track. And it was just perfect. Not too wet, not too dry, no dust, perfect berms, big air on these jumps, and uh, no sliding out with mud or slick. And you can see that's fresh packed, just the perfect moisture red clay in the face of that jump. Noah's handling all these turns beautifully. It's a mix of red clay and then it's just a tight packed sand. Look at this berm, it's all been machined by the Bobcat, big air landed on the downside. Noah's riding, of course, a 150R. Uh, he's 14. He's been working on this ever since he was four years old. A little short jump here. Coming around the last hairpin turn to the final jump along the side of the Pee Wee track. Noah's going to get a little quick, quick jump here. Actually, there's one more turn after this. Just a couple quick hops. Um, there I am on the side. I don't know if you could see me. Hey, all right. Oops. And it kind of spun out there a little bit. Big air. Noah's got some good speed here. This is a 150R big wheel. This is the final turn, the final lap. As he heads in, short jump here. He clears it, lands on the downside. This is the mama jama of all mama jamas. That's some huge air. 
and then you come out the exit right here right by the peewee track good job Noah way to ride safe that's my bike right there on the left the uh, 250R and uh, that's the good tour of the uh, MX1 track okay we're out of MX2 Noah's gonna go ahead and do a lap around MX2 with the GoPro he's following Austin Austin is two hours from here from Georgia Austin's riding a 450R and Noah's gonna uh, follow him and maybe they're gonna like kind of pace each other and so this is MX2 this is a, a intermediate advanced track probably I would call this advanced or even pro and uh, so Noah's uh, Noah's following Austin Austin's a very good rider very accomplished he's able to hit all the jumps so Noah's gonna just use his pace to make sure he can hit every jump out here which he can and so it's kind of fun to have someone in front of you that's really good to kind of keep you on pace with all the jumps and uh, plus there's some good footage of Austin anyway if I, if I was out here and I was riding like this to have somebody go pro me would be kind of neat uh, so they're they're riding they're pacing good and um, Noah's got the GoPro and this is our third day here at, at uh, Georgia Off-Road Adventures. Um, when, you know, I know his first day, you know, he took it easy and, and, and he wouldn't clear in half these jumps. But now after three days of riding, being safe, getting acclimated, getting back in the saddle, he's now hitting all the jumps in MX2. And I don't think there's a single jump that he's not clearing. I could be wrong. But he and Austin right here, tearing it up, having a good time, riding together. And um, a couple short pumps back here in the back. Um, you know, again, they, we call them short pumps, but no jump is that easy. It takes time, practice, and time in the saddle to know how to handle the bike, especially in the air on these long, high jumps, you know. And um, that 450 has got the acceleration. Just uh, He just pops it. You just hear it all the way from where I'm recording. Uh, you know, he, 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 it's nice and slow, and then when he hits the gas, you can just hear it. It's just wow. All right, Noah's changing gears. A lot of speed into this big jump. Nice. All right, this is the big mama jama of all of them. This is the biggest jump at MX2. This thing is massive. It's huge. You just got to goose it and go full speed. Noah's going to goose it. Holy cow! Oh my god! Nice! Nice! No, nice! Another big jump here and he clears it. Nice! Now Noah has another 450R behind him. He's got a 450 in front of him. He's got a 450 behind him. So it's 450 in the front. Noah on the 150 in the middle. And a 450 now behind him. You know that's got to be intimidating because you can hear him in front of you and you can hear him behind you and so i'll be i'll be like freaking out you know this is a lot of machine this is a lot of power and uh whoa right there at the grandstand in front of the park in front of everybody big jump on a triple Noah's now down the straightaway this is a big jump right here clears it heading down to the backside, down the bottom of the hill deep into the woods here uh that's back down there by the pond and a uh, nice big jump there nice big jump he lands it on the downside 450s right behind him and uh over here by the pond it's like a nice whoa nice high jump he's landing on the top downside of each jump as austin was saying you uh actually it's nice you don't have to uh you know like you can you pretty much cannot um, how you say over gas it like you you know like it's you're not in trouble if you go too long on it which is a good observation so in other words you, you you always want to be a little further than short uh, out here um, maybe that's true on all motocross tracks I'm not sure um, I personally you know my riding skills consist of um, my excitement is riding down a trail and if, and if my wheel comes off the ground even slightly, I have heart palpations. Um, whoa, the whip on there. No, the whip. All right, doing good. And a sharp turn. Got to get a lot of speed quickly to hit that quick pop up. 
and a nice nice wide turn here and uh, doing good coming around and just take your time on the pace on those turns you got to go slower up and spin out nice control made a little heavy on the back tire that time and airborne nice coming around for the biggest jump at MX2 this one's massive man this is the big daddy you got to just goose it and go got to keep pace Austin clears it nicely and Noah's airborne went his way down on the down on the bottom of that hill man whoa god oh man that's epic amazing and so uh, along the straightaway this is the final run at MX2 you gotta like just use it to get straight up this hill this is like a straight up a mountain and you can't see what's on the other side that's gotta be intimidating and uh Noah easily clears it man just wow 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 and uh again by the over by the parking area this is where everybody watches it's a big jump right here in front of everybody nice clears it a little, little bit short on that one a little bounce there not bad at this point i would be out of breath i would be so tired i wouldn't be able to even function i'd be like my tongue would be flapping in the wind behind me i'd be so tired right now and yeah i know he's getting a little tired he's peeled off and uh maybe letting the other guy go by because i mean this is extremely intensive with the uh yeah he, he's cutting out taking a break he's gonna come around and do the big jump let Austin go ahead and wrap the track up. That was a huge jump. And I don't know if he's going to do the center one or not. But he's got to be tired. He needs to come in for a break. Hanging with a 450. I mean, that is tough stuff. You know, oh, he's going to go ahead and do this big jump again. Nope, nope. Yeah, he's just taking it easy. At least you get to see what it's like when you're going slow. Bravo, Noah. Bravo. Nice job, man. You've got to be exhausted, dude. You are flying, man. Good work, dude. back of her Cadillac four-wheeler so I'm holding on for dear life <laughs> Nicholas is leading the way we've had a fresh rain so the trails are really slippery so if you goose it you'll spin out and do a do a spin out there's the brown lake I think that's where to get all the water to water the track it's down here at the bottom of the beginner yeah feel that spinning out back here go up the hill you actually kind of start doing a you know s's and you're not getting the back tire grip and uh so it's really this is good four wheeling weather so now that we had this summer shower we had to go ahead and get on the four wheeler because if you're on the dirt bike and this stuff and you goose the gas you are going to spin out so fast and end up on the side on your side like i did in like a Nicholas second. I was the only one that ate it on the uh, dirt bike, did the spin out. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm like covered in mud. Oh God, my, oh geez, and Lauren. Lauren's making us go sideways down the trail. So with all this mud on the beginner trail, we're still slipping and sliding everywhere, even with these giant four wheel nubby tires. This is gonna be your payback. Payback. Terrified me on the buggy. Then. Oh Whoa. yeah, I have terrified her before on the buggies. But uh, just, just realize it is kind of slippery, and we just don't want to be heading towards a tree. Does that sound good? Sounds good. And uh, I know it's funny to kind of go sideways every now and then, but we're headed towards a tree. I'm jumping off. Pass on your 
here playing around together. Side by side, going around the track, having a good time. Good times at Pee Wee. Here they come. Alright, we're back out at the Pee Wee track. Noah and Nicholas are just cruising around, having a good time. Backside of Pee Wee. Pretty good sized jump right here. Nice. That's Noah. Here comes the Nicholas. Going around. Hey boy. How's it going, man? Looking good out there. How's it going? Boom. Y'all are moving. There's some big old jumps. Good time? Fun times? I want to clear that one and then the one that's on the other side of this. I know. I think you should clear both those. I think you're ready for that here on Pee Wee. That one's hard. What's the trick on it? You just have to go fast. Just got to go fast, huh? All right. Okay. Well, y'all, y'all look really good going side by side. It seemed like you're going a little faster and going a little higher and a little further when y'all were right next to each other. Yeah, I need to go next to Noah on that one to know the speed. So you know the speed to hit it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a and good on way. this one. Noah was saying that over there about MX2 right over there. That big jump in the middle, the biggest at the park. He needs somebody that does it all the time that could pace him over it, right? To where you have the right speed. Because yeah. that's tough, isn't it? Like, I feel like I can do that one. Yeah. That's over there. Cool. And I feel like I, I mean, I'm not 100% about this one. Yeah. And that one that's in the corner over there. Yeah. I You're doing really good. This is good stuff. Good job, man. Tend to sling mud all over me. Golly. I'm a little muddy. <laughs> <laughs> you got hold of your four-wheeler. Yeah, you got my four-wheeler. Y'all, this, this is not much traction. We had a little rain. Got into the mud a little bit. And uh, when it gets muddy like that, you have zero traction. Check out Nicholas out here. shower here at Georgia Off-Road. So Nicholas is taking full advantage of it on the four-wheeler. Nice riding, man. Whoa. Our poor bike. Ah! <laughs> I got munched. Let me show y'all what I look like. This is pretty rough. I think Lauren looks bad. <laughs> Take a look at this guy. Look. Look down there. Look, look at that. Look at this. Look at you. I mean, you gotta slide every now and then on the dirt bike. <laughs> if you're not sliding down like you're sliding in the home plate, then you haven't been riding motocross in Georgia <laughs> off-road, have you? True. Yeah. They have oh my gosh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have to, uh, oh gosh, I think he might be oh, trying to, he's gonna sling us. Oh, he wants to sling us. <laughs> Woo. I guess we're the only ones left out here that's silly enough to go ride in the rain, aren't we? <laughs> the rains have come, have they not? Good night, look at this. Look at the mud just falling off of these things. And so we have uh, got through our first muddy day here, hanging out everything to dry. These motorcycles, man, they get slick on those trails. They're just covered in mud. We thought about going back and getting them all power washed, and it's supposed to rain again tomorrow, and we're like, why bother? It's going to do the same thing again tomorrow. So we're just going to go ahead and just leave them like this and go ahead and head to dinner. Tonight we're going to go to the Mexican restaurant in downtown Greensboro. So we're excited about that because the grill is closed tonight. So anyway, we're off to Greensboro. Un unload the trailer. Got the pups. Greensboro for supper. Los Torres. We're back. Noah, how was your day today on? Good. The Georgia Outdoor Adventures. Pretty good. I never crashed once, though. So. Nice. What's all the tracks you hit? All of them. Yeah? Nice. Ready some Mexican tonight? Yeah. How come we're not eating at Georgia Off-Road Adventures? Because they don't have them. 
Tonight their grill's closed. Nicholas, how was your day today? Ready, golly, this place is packed. Go. All right, so first we woke up. I woke up in like at like 10 a.m. and I never have done that. Like I, I usually wake up at like seven at Durham Town because I'm ready to ride. Then um, first I went to MX2. Then I went to Bomber, and then like just the other smaller tracks. And then I met up with them, and like, I don't know, we just rode around the whole park and had a bunch of fun, so it was good. Good day. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow we're doing the poker run. Tomorrow's poker run, so to watch the video tomorrow. Yeah, you gotta watch the video tomorrow because it's like a scavenger hunt pretty much. Yeah, man. Around we're the gonna whole make park. that a separate video. Are you going to do the scavenger hunt tomorrow, or are you going to go to TJ Maxx? I'm going to attempt the scavenger hunt. I really want to give it a shot and try and see how it is, because it looks fun. Do you think you can make it down the trails without dying? I don't know. Today I slid off the trail twice and had to be pulled out of the mud. <laughs> it's and what so distracted you? muddy. Well, I saw a deer on the side of the trail, and he was really cool. He was huge. But I saw him as I was sliding off of a ravine. <laughs> hey, y'all. Word to the wise, y'all. If you see a deer on the trail, don't head straight for the ravine, okay? Fair enough? Fair enough. Because you ready for poker run tomorrow? We're going to win some prizes? That's all I need. All right. Like and subscribe. This is the first video of our 2022 Georgia Outdoor Adventure. Georgia off-road adventure video and tomorrow will be our uh, second day here and we're gonna do the poker run where we get some prizes last year I won two hundred dollars and Noah won what some cool soap yeah some soap and some goggles and soap and some goggles and it was fun what Mr. Mike comes out, gives away a bunch of stuff. Yeah, the prize giving away is really cool. Like they, they give away all kinds of stuff, and pretty much everybody has a chance to win something. I know. And Nicholas, this will be your first poker run, won't it? Uh -huh. You ever done it before? You excited? We're going to go get our... It's kind of like a scavenger hunt. You like scavenger hunts? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. All right, so we're signing out for today, our first time day at Georgia Off Road Adventures. All right, we're at we're at the Mexican restaurant in downtown. Downtown Los Torres, we highly recommend, right? They um, they don't do dinner at the lodge anymore, so we're downtown eating some Mexican. The kids not. love Apparently it. Bev's really restaurant is only open for breakfast and lunch on occasion, so now you got to come to Los Torres. And this is what uh, what's the name of this town? I think it's the Union Green Greensboro. 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 Yeah, it's a cute little town. It's about 15 minutes away. And they got a cool family that owns this place, don't they? Mm -hmm. they got margaritas, chips, and good food. Look, no, eat two plates. Not one plate. <laughs> two plates of food. <laughs> yep. Because he's starving. <laughs> All right. We're signing off for tonight. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Adios.